so friends in our last session we have seen that what is dollar touched how to use dollar touched and dollar under states uh, by an example so in this session we will see how to use dollar valid dollar dirty and dollar pristine as an example uh, let's write here ng mean length is equal to 5 and here write valid state so whenever the minimum length would be 5 then this will this this will be shown to you i am valid size save this so i am valid size is true at first 2 3 4 5 So here what we can set that is minimum character allowed you set minimum text should be 5 here I have used this valid state and now I am saving this so here what will happen that whenever the form form will be loaded you will see that it's not there in browser in this page so whenever I'm entering any digit and if that num number of digit would be less than 5 it will be st still displaying you this message that minimum text should be 5 whenever you will enter the text the characters at least 5 character then this would be skip this would be hidden from you so let's run this you see so whenever i am clicking on this and writing anything like v so minimum text should be 5 so this is a type of validation so user would be able to understand that uh, minimum text i need to enter is 5 so the first character is v then i then k then r then a so it is gone it means that validation is complete so I have written Vikram that is gone and if I write four characters that is VIKR then again it will be shown to me the moment I write any one character that is total character is 5 that is minimum is 5 then it will be gone okay so in this case my validation works for valid state of input elements uh, my form so this is about uh, touched and untouched and valid so now we will see what is dirty state so now we will see dirty state what is that so let's set this uh, let's insert this script set the model value where app is equal to angular dot module my app name say my app thank you now write app dot controller my controller name that is C 
entrl comma function takes scope now write dollar scope dot name is equal to Vikram now save this and now inside this uh, form write ng controller is equal to cntrl now run this and check what happens so you can see here that uh, automatically the name is now set inside this box that is Vikram it is of six characters so that validation message is not coming suppose in my controller I write something like uh, cool and then saves this message and then run this again so here this is automatically fire that is minimum text should be five so if I'm writing anything so I'm making it of five characters and it's going away okay so now what I will do is I will use dirty state same thing I will do I will override this on the dirty so what dirty exactly do is it checks that whether your element has been modified by user or not if it is modified then it will show it will return true if not then false so here what I will write I will change my message accordingly and I will write I am modified I have saved this I am running this in Chrome so I am modified because it is modified so why that came first because I have used that not so let's remove this not and now run this again so this is my old value that is cool and if I will change this value then that message will become that I am modified so still I have not modified so it's not coming so if I am making cool is like a cool day so here it is coming that I am modified so I am I will be able to understand that that uh, this ng model value is modified by user through this state that is dollar modify so this is about dirty dirty state so next uh, let's make another control let's say enter your age okay so here what I will do I will simply use another state say touched I'm test and this name should be H model should be H and this is H okay so now in my form there are two elements now the first is name second one is age what I am going to teach you that uh, how to what is this time okay so basically pristine what it does that it checks whether the field has been modified or not so there must be a question raised in your mind that uh, the if if the case is so then then what is the difference between pristine and dirty because dirty is dirty's role is also that that is it also checks that whether the field is modified or not so for that reason i am entering two element inside my form element i made two element first one will take your name the second one will take your age and the third one is I'm going to uh, 
write some button okay say input type is equal to submit input type is equal to submit and value is equal to save and I will use ng disable is equal to in this case I will use pristine so my form name my form dot dollar pristine I will close this now run this hmm. so initially what what happens is that it's disabled so let's break this line so it will be more clear to you to understand now again run this so now you can see that uh, enter name cool that is minimum character is allow is five sorry uh, the dirty we have used last time that so this is uh, showing that i am modified enter your age you have not used anything erased touched my form age okay so, so when I leave this yeah it is showing that I am touched because we have uh, lost our focus from this element so now it is showing you that as I am touched this is what I was looking for in my code so yes make it 45 so you you have seen that uh, earlier it was disabled now it is enabled so how it happens it is due to that pristine method so what pristine does exactly that it's check whether if any of the control of the form if any of the control of your form is modified or if touched then this pristine will return you true and if no element has been touched then it will show you the disable uh, it will make the disable true so it will it will return true so at that case what will happen that the disable would be true so as a result it uh, won't allow you to click that button or to perform that operation so through that pristine method we validate this type of things that I am using pristine means the disable would be true because I have not touched this element or even this element so any of the element if I will touch any one any single element of the form then it will become false so as a result this will be enabled at that time so again let's run that file so see it is disabled since we have not touched any of the form element if I am touching it and writing some values say y so it is enabled now okay again run this see if I am touching it I have not done anything I'm touching and writing any value it becomes enable so this is the role of pristine but what does dirty do dirty is not bothered about the form element whether touched or not it is bothered about if that particular element is touched or not that's all but pristine in the other hand what it does it checks for every element whether if any of the element has been touched then it will return false so friends we have seen that uh, dollar valid dollar dirty and dollar pristine as an example in our next session we will see the validation through class how to perform validation through class in angular js